The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali! A man who has become virtually obsessed with not allowing himself to be mislabeled anymore. Major chip on his shoulder. Ali may be abrasive, but one of the most highly intelligent competitors in all of WWE. Make way for the Irish ace. This is going to be good. And his opponent from Bray. County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. J.D. McDonough is an Irish nobleman who walks with an air of distinction. And tonight, he's looking to throw hands. Yeah, McDonough's been on a rocket launch-like trajectory ever since entering NXT. He has these chilling eyes, just a stare. Stares right through you, and he's able to dismantle all comers. McDonough possesses skills so far beyond, you have no choice but to become a believer. Yeah, J.D. McDonough loves putting the human brain and body through severe trauma. This guy is pure evil. Listen, he'll attack if he senses even the slightest fear or trepidation. Hey, J.D., J.D., fear and trepidation to my left. Look at Saxton. Quiet, Corey. Mustafa Ali set for competition as driven as any superstar in WWE. Yeah, driven, endlessly motivated. Ali is someone who always comes out here with the intention of proving himself to his competition and to the WWE Universe. And tonight should be no different. 
And then we've got the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough, a true student in the art of combat. McDonough studied hard to become a gifted technician and has trained his body into a living weapon. He's also a nice cold sadist. The way McDonough smiles after taking a big hit, or how he stares at his competition like they're a piece of meat. It's just downright frightening. And a clothesline. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Gut check. Uh-oh. Vicious knee drop. Take a good look at a real-life Titan, folks. Watch out. Oh. swinging neck breaker. Corey, I'm curious. Is there any hole in Mustafa oh. Ali's game that you could see being exploited in this one? Well, there aren't many holes in Ali's game, Cole, but your best bet is to keep Ali from picking up the pace or getting into high-flying mode. Ground and pound is the name of the game in this one. Thrown back in under the ropes. Three. Yeah. Slingshot in. Slingshot cutter. This could do it. And he only stays down for a one count. He's still got more left in the tank. Ali with a skillful reversal. He can end it here. He's got him. And only gets a one count. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Stiff elbow will break that. Counter after counter. Oh, God, face first. That hit wiped the sadistic smile off McDonough's face. Yeah, as Ali clearly trying to prove himself as a worthy competitor. What a swinging neck breaker. transformed into effective offense. This is where desperation becomes a factor. Time to pull out all the stops. Man! He's able to stop Ali. He's doing popping door forwards. Listen to the impact. Looking vulnerable on that top turnbuckle. Ooh. Oh my God, all the way to the floor. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Speed going fast and living dangerously. Two. Uh oh. Suicide die. Whatever it takes to win. That is tossing your own body around without a care, taking no account for their own well being. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? A stalemate of counter. Face first. A set down. The Koji clutches in. This won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment. How's he going to get out of this predicament? Elbows his way out. Coming back in the ring. JD looking to hype himself up here. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Barely made it back in time. I didn't think they were going to make it. Great reversal. Oh, smash! Fisherman suplex. Got to step up in Zagiri. I think we are witnessing a career Victor, and I have a feeling we're close to finding out exactly who that would be. And some effective offense with that one. Trying to put this thing away. No way, what a counter. Hurricane Ron into the cover. A great counter to cover. Referee stops the count on the ropes. Yeah. 
He went right into that turnbuckle. That'll turn your lights out. Face wash. Really seems like Ali is in a world of hurt. He needs to give himself some room from the top. Oh, drop. Good lord. The fairy tale's almost over. Ali's in trouble. Ireland's. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. Here is your winner, J.D. McDonough. And the celebration's underway. Ali's flight plan just got altered tonight with that loss. He'll rebound, don't worry. The stunning Mensois. The handsome Marseille. The maximum male models. We are in the presence of fashion greatness. Oh, brother. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 489 pounds, Mansois and Marseille. Maximum male models. I had a tryout to be a maximum male model. They said they'd call me back. There's a better chance of me calling you back, and that'll never happen. Yeah, Michael, I think your phone is broken. It's always going straight to voicemail. Because I send it there. Turn, pose, beautiful. Um, hey, Michael, would you please shoot? <laughs> you know, I've had a lot of embarrassing things happen to me in my career. That may have been the most embarrassing thing ever since. At a combined weight of 532 pounds, Chad Gable and Otis. The Alpha Two amateur wrestling standouts trained together before either man joined WWE. Yeah. And tonight we get to watch their amazing wrestling skills, to which I say, oh. uh, thank you. Woo. Come on. Oh, God. Master Gable and Otis always discussing strategy. Two absolute geniuses of the mat game. Yeah, tonight we're about to see their thesis. As obnoxious as Chad Gable may be, I won't deny just how talented both he and Otis are. Referee in position. Definitely looks in a hurry to finish things. Chad Gable landed it right there. He turns it around. DDT. Tagged 
again. one. 
Yeah, man, Swat has to weather a storm here. Hits him with the counter. Sustaining the attack above the neck region. Deserves another look. Here we go. Here are your winners Chad Gable and Otis. The Alpha Academy. Chad Gable leads the team to victory. They say when you know, you know. And I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio has never, ever been afraid of competition. He's never going to back down. He's the biggest little man in the history of WWE. to all of WWE and his opponent accompanied by Dominic Mysterio representing the Judgment Day from New York New York weighing in at 249 pounds Damian Priest no longer cares for the WWE Universe no longer cares for the rest of the locker room because he has found his true family and the Judgment Day is their name. Multiple title reigns in his career already, but Priest wants even more. And there's nobody who can stand in his way. Guys, we have to talk about it. Rey Mysterio is arguably better than ever these days. Yeah, talk about a living legend. 
imagine, Ray continues not to miss a beat inside the ring. That high octane, high risk, Lucha Libre style, Ray still got it. But I would argue that it is his veteran instincts that really keep him on top of his game these days. We're definitely in for a show here tonight. And across the ring, we've got Damian Priest, a man whose size and agility make him complex to overcome. A man of his size, Damian Priest has no business moving the way he does. But somehow, Priest is capable of doing so and has profited greatly from it. I'm sure we'll see his size and agility be a factor tonight. Rey Mysterio is so difficult to plan for because he can adapt to so many situations. That brings up the question, is there something an opponent can detect during the match to get the upper hand? But ever since his return, we've seen a pairs of cover. Could be it. Kicks out after one. That's smart, taking the one to catch your breath. An attempt here to get back on his feet. Suicide tornado DDT. That was nuts. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Ray had that well scouted. offense for Mysterio. Priest has to find a way to right the ship here. Tagging this outside. This could be good. A running hurricane Rada. Driven into the barricade. He's positioning himself, closing in. Brash decision making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. And Priest is being controlled here. Mysterio seizing every opportunity. And Akron will escape. Escapes in a nick of time. Ooh. 
kick right to the back of the leg. You have to think Priest is feeling confident to be taunting like this. Oh, he's got him in deep, deep trouble here. Look out. Oh, this does he have it here? Forces the shoulder up after two. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. to exploit against this savvy veteran.
And here's another glance at these superstars in action. Here is your winner, Rey Mysterio! A taxing victory here. Getting it done the hard way. This is the product of hard work and in-ring adaptability. He's got all the tools, and he put them to use tonight.